Hey there, Spiritual Plumber here again. In this video, I will coach you guys on PEX tubing or PEX pipe. So we'll talk about some pros and some cons that I see with PEX pipe. So we'll talk about some differences. That way, when you start your own project, you guys will have some idea of what you need to get started. So if you see value in this video, please give me a thumbs up. Share and comment if you will. Okay, the word PEX, it comes from the two word makeup. The P stands for poly, the E stands for ethylene, so it's polyethylene. And the X out of PEX is the two combined, so polyethylene. Okay, there are two different types of PEX. You got PEX A and PEX B. Okay, with PEX A, if the pipe gets kinked, you can take a heat gun or a hair dryer I've seen used and heat the pipe back up and it'll take that kink out and it'll form right back to the same way. It has a, like a memory in it. And also, it will swell up really large, almost like a basketball size. And if you drain the water down and you put that heat back, gun back over it, it will conform right back to the original size. Now, it does make it a slight weaker when it comes back together. Um, so you could actually, you know, cut it out, cut it out, and put a coupling in it, but you don't really necessarily have to. It'll get you by because of the PEX A. Um, going to like your local hardware store, you probably won't find the PEX A. It'll be PEX B, what have you. Uh, you can also use shark bites on this as well. I'm sure you guys know that, but I told you that we would talk about the pros and cons in the PEX piping. So first, the, the good thing about PEX piping is it's cost efficient. Uh, next, it is flexible and durable, easy to install. It's actually the most popular choice for the all DIY. Uh, next, and of course, you know, your PEX, it doesn't corrode. Okay, it's also resistant to the calcium buildup on the inside. You have fewer fittings in it. It's color coded, um, just in case if you go to do a two-story house or you plumb one into the crawl space, then when you go underneath there, you don't get turned around backwards. You automatically see that the hots uh, in red, Blue is in cold. You don't have to do red and blue. They actually come in white in the rolls and in the stick. They also have a, a life expectancy about 50 years. Okay, now, talking about the cons or stuff that is not so good about the PEX pipe. And the, the first one that I have come across that is... Um, Come to my attention more times than one is uh, the rodent. Uh, they'll go to sharpen their teeth, or for some odd reason, they bite into this and it'll end up creating a little tiny pin. So, if it is exposed to sunlight for long periods of time, it has breakdown. The, the sunlight that breaks it down doesn't make it so great. So, if you have to, or if you can, keep it stored away from the sun uh, in not freezing temperatures. Okay, another thing. I have seen is the manufacturer go to skimp on some of the costs and it could not be that exactly. I mean it could be that the machine that they are using uh, wasn't spitting out the correct amount of material and there's been some thin spots here and there throughout the pipe and it will cause it to have like a little blister on the side of it. It can possibly even bust. Um, Next thing is, is the, the chlorine. If you live in a city or a town that they treat their water with a large amount of chlorine, the chlorine will actually break it down from the inside out. Uh, that's just something else to take in consideration. Okay, another thing is that if it is buried and it's not used for quite a long time, and then you come back, let's say that uh, some of you folks live in one state and you travel to another state for the winter or what have you 
and you don't drain the system out, it gets bacteria in it. And the bacteria in it, it doesn't really like seem to clean out, you know, and then you would have to uh, take it apart and flush it out with bleach and chlorine stuff to get it out. But it does have some bacteria in it if you leave it for long periods. The chemical company up there had a leak in the water system and the water company draws the water out from the river. They treat it and they run it through it and then they send it out into the public. Well, the, the customers that had PEX pipe said that they could smell the same smell as that chemical in their, in their tap water. And the folks that had copper did not smell that. So there's something in there in this side of this pipe that actually collects bacteria, I guess, um, that was in that line from that chemical spell too. So that's something else to take in consideration. But overall, overall, from my professional opinion, uh, I really like PEX. Again, like I said, it uses less bed area to the next. Um, <clears throat> some of the customers like the lines to go in from a manifold system to each fixture individually. So let me explain this a little bit out. I don't have a manifold here with me. We can look that up or I can do a video about that sometime. If you would just leave me a comment, if you'd like for me to make a video on the manifold system. Uh, I, I just don't have one myself. I didn't install it at my own home, but I have in several instances. So what happens is, is they have a manifold system at like the garage or the utility room and it has a list and you can go from 10 to 50 individual valves and you run one separate line from that valve to the line on the other opposite side of the house for like the cold. And then on the other side of that manifold, you run another line to that same fixture on the other side just for the hot side and that's a manifold system and they customers truly truly like that idea the thing is you use quite a bit of pipe to get there because the only two fittings that you have is the one at the manifold and the one at the sink or the toilet or faucet or shower so Use the red and the blue in that situation. That way you don't get mixed up. And you know when you line them up in the manifold system, your hot's on this side, your cold's on this side. Okay? Me, myself, personally, I like the sticks. I like the sticks. Now, they do make the sticks in red and blue. They make it half inch and three quarter. It makes the job look so much neater. Um, I know they're going to cover it up with sheetrock, but when the homeowner comes in, or if you take pride in your work, and it's square and plumb with the building, it just looks so much neater when it comes in. Yeah, you use a few more fittings, but it looks so much more neater. Okay? When you have the rolls, I don't know the proper word. I'm going to say whopper jaw. It's all wavy and just it's, there's nothing square, nothing plumb with the building because you're trying to stretch this out and you can stretch it out and lay it overnight and it'll somewhat form, but you know, no one really has the time for that. Okay. They also make white, they make white sticks, half and three quarter also. They make it in the rolls half and three quarter me myself i like to use the white and, and, and again it's all for a, a seeing thing you know I, I i like to come into the room i don't like seeing the red and the blue myself it doesn't bother me to use the red and blue it's just if if i would buy the material i would get the the white sticks okay and if i get to the job site and the customers already got it that's just what i'll use no big deal they, they still got the same uh, pressure rating on them. And the only difference is, is the A and the B. And normally, unless you go to a plumbing supply house, you're getting B. But 
It comes in 20 foot sticks. When you get sticks it, and the rolls, it comes in 50 foot, 100 foot, and 300 foot. So this depends on what you need and what application you're wanting to do. Uh, it's entirely up to you. But that's a little bit of information about it. Uh, next, we'll talk about some tools that you need and some material to get you started on your own project. Here's a list of some common PEX tools and some fittings that you might want to know before you get started. And that way you'll know what you want to do your own project, okay? So first, this here is a set of crimpers that crimps uh, half inch PEX and they also make a set that will crimp the three quarter and a set that will crimp the one inch. that you get this little brass or copper ring that goes in the inside of this fitting here or I'm sorry the crimp tool and then you squeeze it down and it crimps the whole thing around the pipe and then there's a tool that you're supposed to check it with it's a go no go on the ring okay and again you can get the ring and the tools for half inch three quarter and one inch so to do it with the ring completely round ring you have to have three different tools and um, you have to have that go no go tool all right if you get this style of crimper tool you don't have to do that this one tool right here will do all three okay and it will have a ring that has a little bump out on it it has a little bump out okay those rings come in half inch three quarter and one inch and when you do that little bump out goes in the very front of this and then you squeeze it down you don't have to have three different tools to do it when you use the, the rings with the little bump out okay so that's one that's another thing that you might take in consideration in doing your own okay something else i want to talk to you guys about when you go to buy the fittings okay when you go to buy the fittings to help you know if you're looking for half inch or three quarter and you go to the big box store and we all know that not all of it's organized like it should be that hanging on the little spikes or the shelves or hooks i should say the hooks okay the half inch will be pink the half inch will be pink the three quarter will be blue so if you go to the big box store and you're looking for half inch fittings and a quick glimpse you can see that okay i'm, I'm in the section with the blue you don't have to necessarily go about reading the tag to tell you if it's half or three quarter okay that that's a uh, that's an awesome little thing to know about right there myself i think okay also when you go to buy the fittings and it's it's the same way with half three quarter and one inch they come in brass or they come in plastic so just depending on what you use or what you would like to prefer you know there is a price difference in them uh but also you've heard all your life and i have too you get what you pay for so it's entirely up to you i i prefer using the brass over the plastic okay now there is times that you use the plastic or i would use the plastic let's just say if you're wanting to like test your water lines you could put the half inch cap in there instead of the brass caps to test wise you they make a tool that you can cut the ring back off and reuse them make sure you get the tool to do it folks uh, i don't have it here with me forgot to bring it out and i have to go dig into the toolbox to get it but they do make 
a tool to take them off. You know, if you go to take a hacksaw or a sawzall and you go to cut that ring off and it nicks the little barbs that's on this fitting here, you're taking you're taking a chance of it leaking. Okay. But when 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 we're in a hurry as plumbers and you have to do this job, uh, you, you test it. And then when you're done testing the inspector leaves, you go, you cut those ends off. Okay, let me, let me talk about that also. When you go to cut PEX pipe, I use ratchet cutters. I use ratchet cutters. I have seen folks use a hacksaw to cut that pipe. It does, it does cut the pipe, but it leaves little tiny burrs or shavings in there. And you're taking a chance to get in your water line and get into your fixture. Then you have to either take your fixture apart or take a supply line off or something. It's just extra work that you don't really have to do. They make cutters that are not ratchet. They're just a squeeze type. Those are all right. It's just one you want a smooth, flat, flush cut. And I like the ratchet ones because um, doing it over 20 some years, my hands just don't have the grip strength as they used to. And to squeeze it all day long and twist it on just my hand strength, and just it's just so much easier to and done. Smooth, flush cut. So there you go, folks. There's a little bit of information about the PEX pipe. Uh, if you watch a couple of other videos, uh, you'll see me installing it in several other locations. Uh, but I figured that I would make a video and coach you all a little bit on uh, some of the common uh, uh, pipes and tools that will help you out to do your own project. So if you see value in this video, don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Thanks.